Hello and welcome to the Burnley Metal Weekly Roundup. This is the first weekly roundup for February 2024 and of course I'm joined yet again this week by Adrian Williams of Metal Messiah Radio conjuring some of the Hellfire Club screams from the Metal Crypt. Nice to see you, to see you. Nice. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we got to get some more cheesy fucking old school fucking pop culture references into this I think over time. I was thinking about it recently, you know. <laughs> you know, bring people, it won't bring people back because most of the people that watch this have, well they'll have to be at least our age to get most of these anyway but sure that's my era of pop culture in the past I don't know what's going on now I'm just looking out the window I don't want to know what's going on and yeah. you were up in the land of Derry over the last couple of days for the Asylum Road EP launch it was a good night it was I fucking cracking night fucking deadly it looked like a good night alright yeah it was but turn out Oh, fucking deadly turnout. Wasn't was. Amazing, but it was it was a good crowd. Yeah. Um yeah, over a hundred were at us, basically. Over a hundred turned up. Was it that many? Jesus, it didn't look that many. Yeah, it was about that. It was close it was close enough, baby. Like Jesus. Now that's a fucking decent sized venue. Yeah, it looks so I, I I maybe because the pictures it means seems to be a bit longer, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you're, you know, you, it's kind of hard to judge it if you're just looking at photos and kind of yeah. videos of it. Once you're in there, you'll know what it's like. But it has good high ceilings on it, so that wouldn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, it doesn't mind if the venue is long, it's all right as long as it's got a high ceiling. Yeah, yeah. And I've exactly. seen a couple of uh, short videos that have just bits of bass that have gone up online, and the sound seemed to be good as well. Yeah, it was. It was really good. It was. Oh, that was oh. good for the lads that they got a good tur- look, good local turnout and everything. Yeah, for them. yeah. But yeah. Uh, the, the lads were on fire. They were all the bands were. Yeah, that, from what I've no. seen now, it seemed like one of those nights that just worked. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, that's good to hear. That's good to hear because Derry seems to be a spot that could potentially be yeah the stuff again. Like it's it seems to do all right when they put up anything up there. Y- yeah, yeah. It, and it, I know, I said, I know it's a long distance from Dublin, but it's it's pretty accessible. Oh yeah, like it's, it's about um, I think it's about five, six or seven buses running from Dublin up there a day, basically. Oh, so you're good. You're good. You know, you have to get back at night though. Um, yeah, the late there's a late bus at um, I think just about one a.m. Oh sure, there you go. Sure, if you're you know, to go I think that's. There. On Fridays, pay. I don't know if that runs Saturdays or Sundays, but it runs oh, during the week, you, basically. You were never coming home Friday night, anyway. No, no, oh, that, 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 no. That, that was going to the end. No, no. And of course, no. you've got you've got footage for your vlog that you obviously haven't done yet because you had to recover yesterday, and you're probably yeah. a bit, still a bit fucking shook today. I'd say. <laughs> yeah, well, I got a decent sleep last night, so. Yeah, so you're. You're, you're somewhat normal, I guess. I'm somewhat fucking recovered. <laughs> <laughs> and we shall kick on with our roundup. <clears throat> and we have nine on our list this week. Crazy. But there's a couple of these that were in January because it was the last couple of days of January yeah. when we were doing it. But... And we shall kick off our roundup with Cheryl, I Bring Chaos. This is really, really fucking good. Yeah, it is. I I have something I can say about it, but I will say about it in a minute. Yeah. And it's exclusive to YouTube. It's not on Spotify or anything. And again, I'll tell you why in a minute. I've reached out as such. I had a bit of a brief chat with the man. And I know the crack, you know? I, know yeah. crack. I don't know. No, I'm going to say something that could be speculative to, that to make to clarify this now. Yeah. I've got the bare fucking minimum that I needed to know that where I, my thoughts were going... <laughs> Which can go any fucking where, or this time they were right. Yeah, they are. But sometimes I can be off the mark. But anyways, I'm rambling. Here's Cheryl. I bring case, and we're going to have to skip this on touch because it has a long intro. Yeah. 
I've stopped it there now. Unfortunately, I've given it the time. And that, man, this is an absolute work of art. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking really fucking good, that song. It, video is, man, that video is fucking something else. Yeah, and the music as well, too. Yeah. I was listening to it. I listened to it a couple of times, and I was thinking to myself, is this what I think it is? Is this written through the perspective of a heroin addict? Yeah, yeah. Or how yeah, they yeah. go through the hit? Yeah. Where it goes mellow, and it gets heavy, and it gets mellow again, and it gets very psychedelic. And then the drums going mad, and next thing you can see, the division of them getting smaller and smaller and smaller because heroin in its purest form would just send you to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, and yeah. I said it. I bet to comment on the YouTube video was to say this is very. This is where I, the, the minimalistic contact I've had is such. I've contacted them on Instagram very, very brief. But and I said I basically have to comment. Is this what I? This is basically is this a heroin fucking hit through med turned to music with a video to accompany it? And you said, yeah, you're right. That's exactly what we were going for here. Deadly, uh, he done, deadly. He done, he done an interview with uh, Archie, would you believe, behind the music? Yeah, I, I see it not on their website. Because when you post, you post about it, I listened to it. Yeah. And I went onto their website and I was checking things on it, basically. No. And the front man is our age, at least. All right. He's definitely yeah. our age. He's definitely mid 40s. Yeah, Jesus. And this is very, very speculative on my behalf now. Very, very speculative. But maybe he chased the dragon at one point. And maybe he turned yeah. into music because he, he had it down too. He had that down too well. Again, that's completely speculative on my behalf because I could spot it even though I'm not, I've am not. i never been yeah, yeah. myself in my life. But, you know, maybe I'm not, I'm just, that's speculative, but... Hmm. I, I think I could be. I think I could be on the money, <clears throat> mm. because there's a big age yeah. difference between the lads. So you can tell it's obvious. Yeah. But anyways, you need to watch the video on YouTube. It's not on Spotify or anywhere else. They just got it up on YouTube. They're like, if you want to watch this, you need the overall presentation. Yeah. yeah. Dark fucking video, like. I know. I know. Why I'm going. This is a fucking head fuck. Oh, but where yeah, they were going, they great. absolutely fucking nail, bang, hit it. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, man. I was, I've seen this, I was just listening to this. I've given at least four listens in a row the first time, and I was just mm. like, yeah. The first listen, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. And I was just like, wait a minute, this, this, this is making sense now. By the third listen, I was like, yeah, I know exactly where this is going. But these lads, like, apparently they've got, like, punk and dance and all sorts in there. That's coming like in their fucking collective being like. All right, Jesus. It's interesting. This, this could kind of be another. This could be an Irish King 810, couldn't it? You know, King 810, the, the band from uh, Flint, Michigan, they have like. Oh, yeah, yeah. They have heavy yeah, aspects funny. in the play with the cages around them and they're fucking. You know, I have a feeling that this could be. Something could be really happening here, like apart there. The noise that they're making is that they, we've got something in the tank here. Yeah. This is what we're yeah. giving you first. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. I'll sh they're going to call it Cheryl, and they're only on Instagram and YouTube, and they're, of course, the website. I bring chaos. You need to check that out. These lads are they're on to something. Yeah. Won't be for everyone. But if you get yeah, it. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, that's the way music is these days. Oh, but this is this is a, this is this is really really divi divisive. Like, yeah, yeah. Like I had a couple of people that deleted the the comments. For I didn't delete them; they did. Just to clarify, yeah. and they were just like, "This is shite." And I was just like, I replied to them. I was like, "Ah, it's not, lads. You need to just look at this from a different point of view." I know. You know, if you, they, they might never have taken a hard drug in their lives. Like, yeah. Maybe. Best luck to them if they haven't. But if you've if you've had a, if you've taken hard drugs, you can relate to that. Like it doesn't have to be fucking shooting up. Yeah, you know, and that's on. I shouldn't, but that was when I was young. That was when I was young. That was when I was young. Not, not, not. <laughs> I took them when they were good. Not, I took them. Yeah, when, yeah. Back in the day, so. they're shite now. <laughs> <laughs> 
If you don't, don't do drugs, kids. They're no good anymore. They used to be. <laughs> I <I'm> shit now. <laughs> and next on our list, we have Uncultivates, who released their video single "Second Rodeo." Is this their debut single? No. I no. Didn't know. I didn't know. I, I went to the YouTube channel, and that was the only thing that was there. So. Yeah, I think they've released uh, an EP and another single, basically. Oh, Jesus, I'm completely out of the loop. Yeah. And I suppose for all time's sake, seeing as we're with the second rodeo, I'll bring the old cowboy hat back. (laughs) And lads, if you don't have a fucking right cowboy hat like I do, between the whole lot of you singing cowboy metal, you're fucking posers. (laughs) Right? Right, I'm going to play... Uncultivate second rodeo. <laughs> I bought this in Hungary for 40 quid 20 years ago. This is a fucking really good <laughs> That's basically Raging Speedhorn with cowboys in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's what I take from that. It's Raging Speedhorn with his cowboy band. Yeah. <laughs> and I really fucking like that. Yeah, so do I. It's fucking fun. It's fun. It's fun, it is. And it... I'll definitely have to do a bit of deep diving now. The Juice have they've released more. Yeah, yeah. There's, um, yeah, there's a few, few, few stuff up on Bandcamp there, basically. I'll check it out. I just had a really no. busy week because we have uh, two Swedish students coming again tomorrow. You know, we take Swedish students a couple of times a year. Yeah. Just for three weeks, you know, handy few bob. Like, so I was just the last few days just getting everything. Everything was fine, but I was just doing a bit of grout and whatever else. Just tidy. An excuse to tidy the place up. Let's put it that way. Ah, yeah. yeah. And I take this fucking thing off again now because it's too fucking hot in here. So it is. <laughs> and as I stand by my words, if you don't own a proper cowboy hat between the whole lot of you, you're fucking posers, and I'll not, I'll die on that mountain. <laughs> <laughs> but that was on Cultivate's second rodeo. <clears throat> they don't have a Facebook page. They're on not Instagram, I assume. Instagram, YouTube, and YouTube, Bandcamp, and Spotify. Yeah. Yeah, everywhere by Facebook. Yeah, yeah. So I'll look them up. If you like, if you're a fan of Rage and Speedhorn and you like a real bit of fun, bit of crack with a cowboy edge to it, you're really yeah. going to enjoy that because the video is class. Yeah, it is. It's edgy video. <laughs> of course, they're supporting uh, Party Cannon and uh, Gamma, Gamma Ball around Ireland. Yeah. That's right. Oh, very good, very good. Best of luck to them, lads. Yeah. Best of luck, lads. That's all I can say for now. I'll have to, I'll have to look further into them now. They are interesting to me. And uh, next on our list, we have Dirtbird, who released their new video single, Mammy Short Arms. <laughs> this is fucking brilliant. I know. <laughs> this is brilliant. I'm going to pull yeah. up a minute of this now. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 
unfortunate. I don't want to stop it. I don't want to stop it. That's brilliant. Deadly fucking chill, man. I, they they are so fucking good. They are, you know. I am a fan of Dirt Bird from the very beginning. <clears throat> yeah. That might be the best yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bass uh, playing is fucking class. I, I know. That's Primus know. level bass playing on there. Like. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Oh, it's like yeah. a fucking bass leap. Awesome. Oh, I can't do that. Yeah. Try, but oh, no, I have a big fan of Dirtbird. Well, they're, they're just, they have great humor in their music. Like at the end, yeah. of the, they have a mon- like, well, what's the word? I can't think of the word, but there's some lad talking about bands and like saying how we, we like to listen to your music. We don't buy it or anything, you know? <laughs> just, just, just taking the piss, like, you know, that's what they've done since day one. Like, yeah. They've got to the point now. Them lads are—they're older now. They're all around—they're all around my age, for definite anyway. And or maybe they're not. Maybe they're a bit younger. But anyways, they're kind of at the yeah. point now where like we're going to release music we want to release, and we're going to have a bit of fun with it and a bit of crack with it, and hopefully people come along for the ride. Yeah. And it's doing all right though. That one's doing all right. Like it's under five hundred views. Like. But yeah, that's pretty fucking good. That is actually yeah. yeah. Good as you can expect a lot of times now because it's just yeah. so hard now to get your music out because it's just, oh, as I say as I say to everyone, if, if you got it, if you use Facebook, use the page feed. Otherwise you're gonna be in a land of fucking I don't know what I don't know what it is. Yeah, I know. Demand of fucking ads on it lately. Oh, so I, the page feed is sound and Instagram on a browser is sound. Yeah. But that forget about it. It's the only way to actually see what you follow, from what I can gather. And I've studied this a fucking length for quite a while now. Kind of rambling there, but there's a, a tip for people. Yeah. Like, because if you want to see what you want to follow, instead of seeing all this shit, I, sometimes I go outside the fit page feed to see what comes up. Oh. I know, yeah. yeah. Just fucking... I know I'm old and older, but it's like, Boomer, ang- angry Boomer Central, as, as it's known. <laughs> that's how hard to describe by a young friend of mine. Yeah. He does, and he was like, yeah, that's pretty much nail on the head. Like, yeah, yeah. A bunch of people getting angry about stuff. Like the fucking hatred that fucking Eurovision entry got. Like, no, no don't get me wrong. I'm not, the song is, I don't care about the song or anything. It yeah. It should have been Crew Con. But, I know. But that I know. girl, man, the fucking hatred. Like, it's what? It's just, it's uncalled for, isn't it? Yeah, I know. It is uncalled for. Like, She entered the Eurovision and she's a bit off the fucking wall. She's, oh, she's very, she's clearly off the wall. Like, she's a bit mental, to be honest, but that's, that's all right. She's doing yeah. her own thing and she's fucking got to the Eurovision, potentially get to the Eurovision. But the Eurovision is a fucking madhouse now, anyway, so it's, it's probably a perfect descent. Yeah, it is a madhouse. It's oh, no. the fucking hatred. It's the Eurovision. It's completely irrelevant at this point. Again, as I was saying about Facebook, boomer fucking central. Oh, I don't like that. And these all these people, the ones that fucking covered up the Catholic Church and all the wrongdoings for years. I, exactly. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 Anyways, I'm. I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm I know. In dangerous territory here. I'll, I'll yeah. move on. <laughs> And next on our list, we have Words at Burn, who released their official video <clears throat> for their track, The Cavalry, the, Caval- <clears throat> the Cavalry Ain't Coming, from their acclaimed album, Cutthroat Culture. And we shall play a minute of that now. I'm just going to stand up for a second because my back is fucking aching. Oh, fuck it. Oh. Thank you. 
unfortunately I played a bit over the time, but I just wanted I didn't want to cut it off in the middle of the course like Well fucking deadly too. I that's my favorite song in that album. It is. Uh, yeah, maybe mine too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So love that album, I do. Oh, and fair man, play, man. they're keeping the ticket. It's nearly a year since they released the album. Probably would be now, yeah. Yeah, Mark March. They released the it in March of last year. They did. Yeah, the promo for this album started in 2021. Yeah, it did. Yeah, I know. That's uh, true, released, yeah. Uh, oh, shape, shift, right? Playing Gods. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They released that before and, uh, the play was stuck. Yeah, there was, uh, what else? Was, what was the other song? Um, I forgot the other song. I know, actually. I know. I can see it in my head. Yeah. I'm not going to no, remember my head thinking about it. Check. But, but I know um, they dropped the video, the, the first thing, the for uh when they played bloodstock and then they just ticked it over and ticked it over they released the album last year as you say early last year mm. and now a year later give or take they're releasing another single off it a video off it yeah but that's the right thing to do man just get, i know get yeah it, like yeah they're good. and so the lads are fucking so nice they are no i they're off a sound bunch of lads i've been good, nice good nice them over the years you know the why i'm fucking like for that album it's it's fucking really good. And they got some good support slots there in the last while too as well. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh man, this man, they played a fucking gig for me ten years ago. Yeah. They were around a while, so they're Yeah. Back in the fucking face melter records day, they're going back that far. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they're around a while. But no, they're keeping at it and they're they've had they've had some good times over the years. They've played festivals, they've played bloodstock as we've said. Mm. They've got some high end support slots. So when they look back on their time, whenever it comes to an end, they can look back and say, Well, we Yeah, we didn't make it a full time fucking professional band, but we had we had good times. Definitely. The, the, the good happy medium. Let's put it that way. Mm. And next on our list we have Debt the Leveler, who released a a video for their older track, The The Hunt Eternal, with Gabriel, just to give an idea of where they're going, like and we shall play a minute of that now. No. Touch just so we can get some of his actual vocals in there. Here we go. <laughs> fucking typical Doom song. It takes about fucking five minutes to get going. <laughs> 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 Give it the time, but that sounds different to what I expected from like you know, I expected the yeah. kind of sectile, kind of higher, but he's gotten more a different, different range. Like, yeah, good. Just hit it. It's sad. That's how it sounds fucking great. That does. You said it sounds phenomenal. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't mean that yeah. in a critical no. way. I just it kind of caught me a bit at first. I thought he'd be more higher, but he's not. He could be on the newer stuff. Potentially, because he has him, Gabriel. Yeah, Gabriel. I know. Has a <laughs> massive range. Yeah. Like I've told the story on here before. When we back when I was damaging gold with the thing, we brought them down to play the Dimebag Night, 
And he hit the fucking cemetery gate scream at the end. Yeah. And he hit it like he was fucking hit. Yeah. Like everyone was just like, I was looking at <clears throat> David Fogarty of a bunch of projects. He was playing that night with Six, Six, Six Extinction. And he was like, Jesus, he absolutely fucking nailed that. Yeah, yeah. And then with that moment, we all knew, well, it was good as Sectile were, but with that moment, we knew that this kid is a fucking, this kid is a serious vocalist, like. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be, this is just a, this is just a taste now for now, just to let people know, mm. like, where they're going, like, just give a, give an idea and interesting times ahead now, because as I just previously said, his range is insane. Yeah. Yeah, they could maximize that. They could they could do something that's fucking that's just seriously good in the next release. Like, yeah, their previous vocalist Dennis was very good as well. Don't want to take anything away from him. Like, I know, yeah, yeah, just didn't work out. But sure, these things can happen. That's life in the music world. Oh yeah. <sighs> oh, I feel better now. I've been brewing <laughs> for a while. <laughs> if I was any, if I was any good, I'd do it into the mic, wouldn't I? Just to. You really fucking bring it home. <laughs> no, I have manners though, or something. <laughs> I should. Next time I'm going to do it. <laughs> and next on our list, we have Ballas Tot, who released a new single, Impossible Exercise. We shall play. We'll play the whole thing because it's only a minute long. Yeah, yeah. yeah here we go. Yeah. Oh. oh, that's a makeup removal ad. Very important. I said, you needed that after the Friday night, anyway. Deadly, deadly man. He he's fucking shit hot. Oh, he's great. Uh, right. He is. Sure, he's, he's made such a man from the haunted now. Yeah, I know. It's fucking. Um, I think Hello. that track was one of the first submissions he made on fucking that Sunday thing with Ola, basically. Yeah. And there's a lot of people in the video as well that I'll just put in a bit of the video as well. Yeah, you know, there's a bit of a group building there now where all this around this, this your man's community, and yeah. they all collaborated. Even though he, he Ballas Tot done it all himself, like with the vocalist, uh, death metal, death voice metal voicer. He, voicer. I think he's from Japan. Really? I think so. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll ask. I think he is. Oh, you wouldn't know. Like he no. doesn't show his face. He can always yeah hair down over his face. Like, but. Oh, so this is that's a really cool little thing they've got going on there. So it is. Yeah, I know. Really fucking cool little thing they've got going on there. There's a group of them, and they're all just fucking back and forth all the time. Like, I know, yeah, yeah. And that that was ballast tosh, impossible exercise, and that was in my top. Was where was it in the head? Where was it? It was number three? Wasn't it in my? Yeah, it was three of my EPs later last year. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what's the name of the EP again? Oh my god! Um, anti life, anti life, anti life. Yeah, that was yeah. a fucking cracker. Uh, yeah, yeah. I remember when we got sound. I heard that for the first time. You found it and you sent it on to me, and I was just like, "Oh, this is fucking." Yeah, cool. it's deadly. Okay. Oh yeah, Ballast Top Man. He goes from strength to strength, doesn't he? Yeah. And it's weird because he's always said, like, you know, I didn't have the confidence in the past to put my music out, and what he's put out, like, you're just like. This is what you were sitting on, like. Yeah. You yeah. didn't think it was good enough. Jesus. <laughs> a few more fucking gears in that gearbox than there is, man. Yeah, I def- definitely. A few more gears yeah. in that gearbox, but if he gets fucking going, 
if that's what he gets, if he gets confident in himself, look what he, woo, yeah. to watch for fucking sure. <laughs> and next on our list, we have Historian Vigil, who released their new album, Unveiling the Bractal, and we shall play a minute of Nine Bellowing Hounds. Here we go. <laughs> together the time have you listened to the album yet yeah you'll have to keep I, I, can't stop album listening. Yet. I haven't stopped fucking listening to it really all right holy fuck man it's it, it fucking really fucking good the two tracks we'd heard of the four i was impressed yeah. by i just haven't got around man. to listen to it yet it could just dropped at the wrong time i was as i said earlier on and we're getting ready for the Swedish students coming tomorrow so i was just mm-hmm. i was too busy and to be honest with you, man, when I was when I did get the chance to listen to a bit of music this week, I was like, "Oh, fuck, a big black metal fucking album." I was like, "Oh, no, I haven't got the head for it," you know. Um, man, it it, it it's kind of, there's a fucking element of kind of heavy metal in it as well. Mm. You know, it's really fucking good. Yeah, it seems it very is. interesting. I definitely will check it out. You said it's... you said remember you said earlier it might be in your. A shot yeah, and, uh, nearly one for your maybe. It's an air, it is, it is, it is an early contender for me. It is a you're, really, you're, really you're, enjoying man. Fucking because you're a lot, you're re- you're big, uh, you're extreme metal by default. Like, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. we can cover a lot of different styles. But if <laughs> if you were stuck on a des- desert island somewhere, you probably want the fucking heaviest of the heaviest, like the heaviest of the fucking heaviest, <laughs> basically. I'm, Fucking ripping fucking leads, <laughs> raw as fuck, you know. So you are saying good things, and I will have, I will check it out. For, yeah. well, just, I'll have time now because they'll arrive tomorrow, and everything will be grinding in the world again. Once yeah. they're, once they're <laughs> in, you yeah, I know. It's yeah. awesome. You don't have to have the place looking like it's a fucking show house. Yeah. Oh, see, I have to. You have to do it though, just for a quiet life. Just for a quiet life. <laughs> Fucking no, but it's no harm. It needs to be done. And next on our list, we have, oh my God, how do you say this? Irm Hirt. Um, Irmar, Irmar, I think it is. Irmart. I forgot. I have to check what the mean for that. No, it's Irish. Hmm. I say. Yeah, there are new projects right. featuring <clears throat> members of a sacred noose and an unyielding love. Unyielding love, yeah. And they've only dropped one track for now. Or oh, terraforming artifacts from their yeah. EP. Is it an EP or an album? I assume it's an EP. It's EP. It's out on the first of March. First of March. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I am again. I just only checked this out today when I seen you drop the Metal Messiah post because I yeah. missed it completely. I only noticed the fucking last night. Just I was doing the fucking post the sauce. Oh, was and it? I listened to it. it. The track basically was released late last night, basically. Did they, post in the, did they post in the Irish metal group? Yeah, well, Adam, Adam from Adam Miles of Disconnect and Sacred Minces in the band he is. He posted in the group, I think it was this morning, sometime time today. Ah, right, there we go. Was. And we shall play a minute of it now. <laughs>
give it at the time. I've only listened to it once because I only heard about it yeah. a, few, a couple yeah. of hours ago, but it's really good, isn't it? Ah, it's fucking deadly fucking chill. There's proper no, they, they cite fucking um, mm. Alfred's a plague, plagues, and an opticon as kind of influences, basically. Yeah. Kind of atmospheric black metal. Oh, it's good, all right. You know, it's really good. It's... And they're calling it a demo. It sounds all right for a demo. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, that's... Uh... Oh, my God. Ear, mate. Oh, yeah. I don't watch you call it fucking... Um, I think Master does... Um, Shawnee Callaghan. I've seen that, yeah. I've seen that on your post. He yeah. does, yeah. And Shawnee done the Astoria and Vigil one as well. He did. Oh, yeah. He's done a lot of that the heavy stuff now the last yeah. couple of years. Yeah. 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 Oh, he's a good producer. He doesn't like me. Yeah. But I don't care. I'd, I don't have anything against you, man. But <laughs> you don't like me, but that's all right. The world <laughs> will go around no matter what. And next on our list, we have uh, Unmaker, who released their new, they've released two singles in two weeks. This is called State of Zero, which I'll play a minute of that now. Yeah. From the lads, <clears throat> yeah. I'm oh, on fucking that. Um, that's better than the other one. She's are both really good. Yeah, I know. I know. And I just say the both of them are just fucking on a different level. Just stuff oh, yeah, the man. Album they jumped up just, yeah, yeah. Like I've been in. I've been following them since the beginning. Since the, yeah. the video, the put up a live video during the lockdown era. Not in the full lockdown era, but during that yeah. time, just like this is we're just rehearsing a song, and you're just like, yeah, there's something fucking happening here. Like, yeah, yeah. They've had a few lineup issues since, like, but sure, that can happen. But I know. But look at man, if this is what they're going to be releasing going forward, like, yeah, that's yeah. I yeah. looking forward to a big time. Jeez. You know, yeah, they're but, um, they're supporting um, what's that Danish band? Based. Based. based, yeah. That's, that's, I think that's, it's, that's today or tomorrow, isn't it? I think it's Tuesday. That's tomorrow on Tuesday. They're playing, around this. they're playing around now anyway. Yeah. yeah. Are, look at, there you go. Like hmm. They're there. They're, they're flying. They're flying, yeah. Definitely. Hopefully yeah. now this year is the year they just get a stable lineup and just can kick on. Yeah, true. Because the, the talent is clearly there. Like, Yeah. Like Aaron seems to be a fucking great songwriter. Yeah, he's playing guitar now as well. You know that? Oh, I knew that. But sure, man, he was yeah. fucking. He was one of the driving forces behind the band, anyway. Yeah, that's right. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure he wrote this. Mm-hmm. Like he wrote the guitar parts, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, there's something happening there. You and your fucking Stein. I need to get a Stein actually. Times are cool. You just feel like a real man, don't you? Just holding it in the fucking mug and like, you know, just fucking smash them together with some other lad. First class everywhere. Ah! Fucking Viking fucking shit, like. <laughs> and we have come to the end of our roundup. 
I know they always try to put a mad story at the end, and I suppose the maddest story that's been going around this week is the whole Elon Musk thing with the fucking brain implant. That, uh, that, that's, that's, I've got, I've, geez, man, there's so many views I've got on that. For what it's created to do, for people with motor neuron disease and all this to be able to do all these things by thinking it and Chip doing it for him, is incredible. Yeah. But there's, there's variables, man. What if it gets hacked? I Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Do, like, do, like do. Elon Musk is the man who's speaking out the whole time about AI, that we that they're going out of hand with it. And why was he so worried about it? Well, just, yeah. he's basically fucking building Terminators. Like, he, for want of a better description. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a very fucking fucking mad fucking conspiracy theory fucking statement I, I in itself but he's putting chips in people's brains that will be beneficial for many many people the, the concept behind it is absolutely incredible but there's always that fucking if factor isn't it yeah yeah no it's 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 just it's, it's so it's just really fucking weird and fucking dystopian and in a way. Yeah, but another thing, like, playing God is fucking dangerous. Yeah. yeah. Is, that's, a, that's a good way know, of putting it, actually, man. Like, he's going to change the lives of these people. Like, they I know, yeah, anything. but I know, I, I, a lot of people might disagree with I think he's doing it for good, but... Oh, I know, he is. He yeah. is, but it's just... Yeah, I know. You know, when you think about the advancement know, of AI really. and the AI been questioned saying, oh, we think we can do better than yeah. the humans. And you start putting <laughs> chips in people and what? Well, it's a slippery slide, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, to be honest with you, man, I'm too fucking dumb to understand everything about it. What I, oh, I do understand about it is amazing for what it's going to do for the people that need it. Mm. But it's just... Chipping brains, man. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't sit right, does it? <laughs> no, no, no. They... It's a bit like what what grinds my gears, like you know. <laughs> what does grind my gear at this point? Gears at this point is fucking scammers, though, man. You can, literally can't answer the phone unless you know who they are now. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's ridiculous, man. I feel sorry for them yeah. that are fucking out doing carpentry or painting or whatever they're doing. Yeah, literally, they, they won't answer the phone now. You have to leave a voice message because they will not answer because it's like it's going to be under fucking scammer. Like, yeah, I know. Grinding my gears, they're grinding my gears. Anyways, that's us for this week. And be sure to join in next week for another exciting episode of Burning Metal Weekly Roundup. Aruba! <laughs> and if you got that, congratulations. As most of you want. Like, share, and subscribe, and all that stuff. And we shall be back next week. Bye now.